I want to talk about my setup position and what I do to compress my irons because this is something that has changed over the years from when I was a sort of amateur golfer to when I learned more about the golf swing and things have slowly evolved more and more this way which I'm going to share with you. Now the first thing that I do is I move the ball further forward in my stance and the reason for that is I just noticed that for me personally when my golf ball would be located inside the my lead ankle line a bit more which i'll be a bit more specific in a moment that felt like i could rotate and hit more down on the ball and that's a big feeling i would say okay one of the senses that i really have when it comes to compressing the ball is to really feel like i'm hitting down and across the ball so having the ball in the back of my stance or if you like in the center of my stance i always feel like i'm going to be more inclined to sort of lean back and hit it this way and that's why i have the ball further forward now i would say from my we're talking all full shots here right i would say a, about a club head to two club heads distance inside my lead ankle as i'm demonstrating here okay that's where it deviates now i also have as you'll see a width of stance which is about shoulder width now i would say to be more specific if i was to draw a line vertically as i'm demonstrating here through my lead ankle and my trail ankle can you see that's where my hip falls so that's a good width of stance about shoulder width lots of people are much narrower than that that i meet and i like to get them a bit more of a firmer base okay it helps keep the lower body a little bit quieter in the swing so if you adopt a similar width of stance to myself you might feel a little bit lower to the ground improve your interaction and then you can measure the distance okay so i deviate anything from two club heads distance to one club is distance obviously with things like my driver in line with my lead ankle now the next thing that i do is obviously this stance the next thing i do after that is i flare my lead foot now the reason why i flare my lead foot is because one of the big things is hip depth in the downswing so see the way that i really get my lead hip back and out of the way and if i get my lead hip back and out of the way that helps me get my shoulder down if this gets a little stuck then my shoulder pops up and i can't hit down on the ball as much as i would like so i flare my lead foot i would say probably about 40 35 40 -ish degrees outward okay and what that does is that does a couple of things one in my setup position watch my upper body so the way i just start with my sternum okay over the ball okay so this helps me feel like my shoulders are less tilted okay i get more weight i would say i've got like 60 65 percent weight on my lead side okay to the point where if i can balance i can lift my foot up and it's almost like it feels like my left leg starts slightly more flexed okay like so now all of a sudden I'm in a backswing position, okay, where my sternum is located over the ball. I've got a little bit more weight on my lead side. And then from here, I can just think about my backswing as lifting up, turning down and through. And as long as I do that, I know I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a good contact on the ball. So it like so. Here, weight on my lead side, okay. And then from there, look, up, and then down on the back of the golf ball. And see where I am here. And I know moving that way really helps me compress that golf ball each and every time. And that's why I'd suggest that you guys do it. So experiment with it, okay? A bit more on the lead side. Feel like your sternum's more over your ball. You'll get a bit more on the left. And then from there, more of an arm lift. Turn down and throw. And I promise you, ball striking will seem so much easier. See you soon.